So it can be rather taxing first thing in the morning by getting ready for work and or school and also having a nice hot breakfast. But with this recipe, you can set it before you go to bed and it's ready and nice and hot for when you wake up. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Who said a crock pot is just for lunch or dinner? I'm going to use it for breakfast. Wacky idea, but trust me, it works. So join me today as I make my version of crock pot breakfast casserole. And please check out toddskitchen.com for my fantastic merchandise. Now we're going to start this off with a fry pan on the stove and I've got it on a high heat. So I'm just going to give it a, just a quick grease. Now it's up to you if you use bacon or sausage, but we need to pre-cook this part. But I'm going to add some diced up bacon. And I'll leave a list of all the ingredients and the amounts in the description below, of course. So we're just going to cook this bacon over this high heat just for a couple of minutes until it's cooked all the way through. And the same would go for if you use sausage. So you can use bacon or sausage. They both work fantastic in this recipe. And honestly, you can even do both. You can have bacon and sausage. Pork sausage is usually preferred, but you can use any sausage that you prefer for breakfast. But for me personally, I love the good old traditional bacon. Okay, so we really don't need to overcook the bacon. I know a lot of you like it crispy, but it's not going to stay like that because it's going to slow cook for eight hours. So once the bacon is cooked all the way through, like it is now, but not too crispy, we're just going to take it straight off the heat. Okay, so next I've got a dozen eggs in a bowl. So to that, I'm going to pour in one cup of milk. And we're going to season it with some salt and some pepper. And all we have to do is just give it a very good whisk until everything is well combined. Eggs are broken up and the milk is incorporated into our lovely scrambled eggs. Okay, so next we're going to use our slow cooker or crock pot. I love these because they're so cheap to buy and they really do turn any dinner into something fabulous. So to start off with, I'm just going to give it a quick grease on the inside. Now I'm using cooking spray oil, but you can use butter for example, or a bit of oil. And that's all the prep that you need to do. So now we just layer the ingredients. So I've got some hash browns. I've just bought a packet from the supermarket. They're very cheap. Of course you can make your own. So I'm going to place them in frozen and this is going to work as our base. Next on top of our hash browns, our cooked diced bacon. Now I may have tried a couple of these pieces, but yeah, only strictly for science purposes, of course. <laughs> so we'll just put those on top, just spread them out so it's nice and even. Oop, that one looks like it needs to be tested as well. I'll try that. Mmm, bacon. Next I've got about two cups of cheese, so I'm going to sprinkle that on. And honestly, use any cheese that you like. It's really up to you. Use your favorite cheese, so just go nuts. So we're just going to make sure everything's nicely covered with two cups of cheese, shredded of course. And once we've done that, lastly, we're just going to pour on our scrambled eggs. And try and get it somewhat even. So it's all over. So everything is going to combine nicely. And that's it. It's that simple. Honestly, the easiest breakfast you're ever going to make. And best part is you're not actually making it during breakfast time. So I'm just going to put the lid on and we're going to let that cook away on a low temperature for eight hours. So if you put it on say at 11 o'clock at night, it'll be ready by seven o'clock when you're up and ready for breakfast. That's what I love about this recipe. No cooking in the morning because all the cooking is done while you're asleep. So as soon as you get up, you can dish it up and it just saves so much time in the morning. So keep it on low for eight hours. You can do seven hours, that's fine, but eight hours works just as well. Now it's been eight hours. And just look at that, it looks, but honestly it smells absolutely delicious. You can really smell that bacon and eggs. Now this truly is a simple, easy recipe to make for breakfast. 
There's honestly no work required whatsoever when you wake up in the morning. You set it before you go to bed and it's done for when you wake up and it's piping hot and you'll smell it as soon as you get out of bed. In fact, you'll smell it while you're in bed. So it gives you an extra reason to get up in the morning. You have that lovely layer of hash browns on the bottom, followed by that bacon and mm -mm, bacon. You can never have enough bacon and some of it's actually worked its way up to the top, which is a pleasant surprise. And then when you mix in that lovely seasoned egg mixture topped off with some cheese. So honestly, this crock pot breakfast casserole is not only incredibly simple, it makes life so much easier and it tastes simply delish.